Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick set on Handria, my trusty nail friend, hand, plastic one. Um, I got the recommendation from Tracy who bought one off eBay. So I went ahead and got one and it was like 18 quid. So winner, winner. Um, I'm starting off and I've applied tips to the nails. I literally just etch, like clip off the end of the brown tips, etch over the brown area and then stick on some tips with glue and then I'll just hold them in place for around five seconds just so I make sure they're fully stuck. And then I'll go and press the wings down afterwards. Then before I even file or shape the tips, I'll go in and apply a clear layer of crystal glass and then I will shape the tips. This just ensures that they don't pop off. Um, those of you that have the hand know that that can happen. So I've gone in with Lime Splash, which is absolutely stunning, again, from CJP. Um, and I'm going to ombre that with a more. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ombre it down, make a nice, pretty nail there. And these colours just, like, ombre effortlessly. It was such a nice colour ombre. Ombre, 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 how many times can you say ombre? So after I've done the blend bead, I'm going to go in with the cuticle bead. And if you have this hand, you know they have that really weird lip, which I absolutely hate. But um, we work with it. Um, I tap it in, tuck it in, go tap down one side and then swipe down the other side. And then just blend it out. And I'm going to go in with a little bit more lime splash there at the bottom just to kind of make that ombre perfect. And then I will just cap the area um, in crystal glass there's no need to cap the entire nail just where that blend is to protect it whilst you're filing so i'm then going to move on to the ring finger and do another ombre with magenta and amore and i have to give credit kind of um for this design idea and these colors to tracy because she facetimed me just as i was about to start um the set of nails and we were talking about colors and she said do lime green and pink so thank you Tracy um yeah I'm just going to do exactly the same process that we did on the index finger but with pink so now moving on to the middle finger i'm going to make a nail bed and again i'm using a more the way i pick up more is i drain more liquid off my brush before i actually pick the bead up and i find you get a more opaque finish i think sometimes if you pick up a bead with a wet brush like too wet and then drain your monomer you're still going to get that marbling process and that you're going to lose pigmentation so the way i pick up a more is i'll drain my bead twice on the side of the dappen dish place my bead, wipe off my brush, dip into monomer just to wet it again, tap off the excess and then come in and mould the acrylic and just find you get the perfect, perfect nail bed. Um, yep, yeah, so I'm just going to try and make sure that both wings are the same height, my apex is in place and the wall is consistent the whole way around and then I will leave this and come back and file it later on. So I'm going to do a vertical ombre on the pinky with the two colours we've used throughout the set, except I'm just going to cover it in one of my actual own glitters. So I bought a selection of glitters because I wanted to dip my toe into the business and see what it was like. 
but I don't think it is for me. So I do have some available sets uh, for sale. There are nine, uh, ten, sorry, in total. Nine, um, three lots of shards, six glitters, and then one of my own mixes thrown in. So ten glitters, and I'm selling them for eighteen pound collected or £21 posted if you're in the UK. So if you want any of them, then please let me know and I'll get them ordered for you. So I'm going in with Lime Splash going down the other side and then I'm just going to cover that in this beautiful glitter. It has no name, um, but it's just an absolutely stunning glitter. So coming back to the French and I'm going to just file that with my CJP 10180 grip file, making sure it's flat against the walls, get a nice crisp line. And then what I'm going to do is the opposite side of the ombre colours. So we've got lime splash on the index. So I'm coming in the left hand side with magenta and then I'm going to come down and go in the other side with lime splash and then just where those two colors meet i am going to place some more of that stunning like reflective glitter And then I'm going to go back, cap the pinky, and I will just cap over the glitter bit on the middle finger. And then I'm going to file them all in.
So after I've filed all of the nails in, I will clean away all of the dust with my little brush. And then I'm using Tack Free Top Gloss and I'm going to top coat all of the nails. I think this set was super adorable. The colours went together beautifully. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get a little video recorded and get some content out on my channel. So it's not just dead because I've had a week off. So um, yeah. But this will cure in the lamp for 60 seconds and I've left a little clip at the end so you can see the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. It would mean the world. I love you all so much and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye-bye.